Yeah, just one out Mickey. I'm gonna have to purchase a couple of new tyres for my GQ. That one's just about bugged. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to, uh, Bridgestones, I like Bridgestones, so I'll put some more of them on. Uh, just gonna have a quick look at a car show today, it's Saturday. Um, got a little car show out here happening at the historical village. Mainly all Pommy gear by the look of it, I'm not into Pommy cars, but I see a uh, hot rod and that going out, so there's a Mustang there too, so I'll zip out and have a look, and I want to have a bit of a look at some of the historical stuff while I'm at it. So, uh, look, I'm not, it's a bloody warm day today. Uh, this bloody neck of mine's getting very burnt looking. Um, I'm going to have to really watch that. Um, yeah, I really haven't got much to say. I had, uh, just a servicing day. Uh, ended up having a bit better day yesterday. Be oh, not a better day, a bit quieter day, which was good because um, been that bloody busy and haven't had time to scratch myself. So I'm settling it down a bit. And uh, Monday I've got a bit on, and uh, then just back to the grind as per usual. So got a bit of a light on day Monday, so that's good. So I can get more stuff done around here. But it's how I was saying the mechanic's got the worst service car. Well. I mow lawns and my bloody lawn doesn't look too good at the moment, I can tell you. So I'll be attacking that this afternoon and uh, I'll do a quick video on this car show here that we got at the historical village and there's some parts of an old plane here that crashed in, on, in 1967 or 1968, crashed into a house that didn't burn and I want to go and have a look at that because apparently part of the wings there, I remember seeing the plane stick, it was a crop duster, and I remember seeing the plane sticking out of the side of the house out on Mountain View Road, the crop duster pilot got out, he walked out of it. So that was good. Um, so really, I don't think there's much else I've got to tell you, uh, except we're going to warm day. I want to get bloody things done, and it's now starting to warm up. I want to get my GQ cleaned up because it's a pigsty, and just got the dogs up at the vets getting their needles. So it's all happening. Um, yeah. So look, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, um, I hope you enjoy that review on the mower. I hope a few people watch that because I spent a bit of time doing that yesterday. I got me easy day, so fiddling around with that Rover, Rover that I've bought and, and the Husqvarna from um, from the uh, customer's place, which they were quite happy for me to do. She said, oh, it's no problem, so that which is really good. But yeah, it's just interesting doing these reviews and seeing how different pieces of machinery act and d how different machines are different to some others and pluses and minuses and everything else. But look, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, yeah, my background, as you all know, is, machines since I was a kid with dad in the bush and trucks and that sort of thing and and um, into uh, in the basically a lot of aspects of earth moving and trenching and Telstra pit and pipe laying with excavated backhoes and all that sort of stuff and a lot of mowing in the last 20 years mowing and posi track work that sort of thing so I like to give me opinion on things uh, magical numbers just ticked over 351 as in 351 Cleveland on the time so I better hang this up but yeah, that's uh, sort of reason why I, um, I just like doing the different stuff and I hope you enjoy it, but I'm going to leave it at that. Um, nice and cool in under here, but I better get back to it and wait for this phone, for, phone call to go and pick the hounds up. And uh, then I'm going to quickly whip out and have half an hour out at that car show and then back to maintenance, lawn mowing the Savi, and uh, that'll be me done. I'm going to have Sunday off, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thumbs up from the little Aussie battler. The little Aussie battler. I better put me goggles on. How's that? My C and I goggles. So um, I'm just going to believe it at that. So, um, like I said, double thumbs up from Sweno Mick, and Sweno Mick out.